Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is based on Flutter installation on Windows. So we'll select our Windows option for Flutter installation. Then we go to Android because we are going to be building our Android app with this. Uh, so let's choose Android. Then down there we have the hardware requirements for Flutter. So make sure your device matches these requirements. Then you have to come down to the software or flutter installation we need the flutter sdk to be installed so let's install it tap on the button and now you can see using your download uh, history pop-up which tells you that it's downloading so once it gets downloaded we can proceed ahead it's almost it's complete and let's navigate to the folder here we have the flutter windows uh, we have this zip file so firstly we need to create a directory here which is just a convention to store your flutter sdk so let's create a flutter folder inside that also create an other folder for source where we have basically the source uh, sdk here and now extract this zip file in the directory location we have just created so tap on c uh, and inside c we have the flutter and then source tab on ok to extract the file once it's ready we will navigate back to the flutter directory and inside the flutter source then again flutter and then bin directory uh, let's go to address bar and type cmd to enter your command prompt in this inside this directory now run flutter doctor to uh, see if the flutter has been installed or is working or not so it says welcome to flutter and it has a bit of uh, documentation and it tells you a bit about flutter and down uh, we'll be seeing uh, our if our requirements have been completed or not so if you look at the different requirements we have flutter installed when we have window version then we have some missing uh, requirements we have to install android studio so let's go to uh android studio but before that also let me show you one thing if you open the command prompt outside the bin directory let's open it uh and then after we open it if we enter flutter doctor it this command won't be recognized because we haven't added that sdk path to the uh as we haven't added the path to that bin file in the in the path environment variables so we need to copy this path and we have to add it into environment variable so that flutter is recognized everywhere on our device so oh tap on environment variables go to path and then add it add a new entry here and paste the address here which is the address to the bin directory and now when we apply these environment variables uh, close the cmd or command prompt open it again and this time if you run flutter doctor it will work so in order for flutter to work everywhere on your device you have to add the uh, address or path of the bin directory into environment variables now we need to install the android studio so go to our browser type install android studio and when you search android studio uh, you can navigate to the link and just download android studio koala down there i read the license agreements and then tap on download to start the downloading once it is downloaded we will install the setup of android studio so that our requirements are completed and now if you navigate to the uh, downloads from here you can install android studio so open it and let's uh, kick out the installation process so here you have to uh, give permission then tap on next 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 and install so android studio is being installed uh, so now tap on finish and start android studio we have to do some other things there as well so we do not need to import settings as we don't have previously installed uh, data about android studio so uh, let's 
we can select don't send analytics to Google. You can also send analytics. Uh, here we have some SDK components being installed. Now we have the wizard. Tap on next, choose standard and next. And then these tools will be installed for Android Studio. Accept the licenses. We have these license. So accept these and tap on finish to start and downloading the HDK components for Android Studio. Now our installation has been complete. Tap on finish and we have the Android Studio installed. Now if we run Flutter Doctor, you will see that Android Studio has been installed. And here you have it. Now we also need to look at these two requirements as well. So these are some tools that need to be installed on Android Studio. So here, oh, tap on more action than SDK manager. And here, SDK tools, then install Android SDK command line and tap on apply. And now it will be installed. So our one requirement will be scattered from here because we were missing this command line tools. And the job has been done. Tap on finish, apply. And after that, uh, if we go to CMD again, we still have one thing missing that needs to be catered. And that is about the Android licenses. So for that, we need to run a command that is given, uh, which is Flutter Doctor and blah, blah, copy it and paste it in the uh, command prompt and tap on enter to execute the command so that the requirement is scattered here and now tap on Y Y and accept all these things so so that our licenses are accepted and now we are good to go if you're in a flutter doctor all of our requirements have been covered for flutter setup uh, but we still have missing Visual Studio, but we don't need it because if you want to develop Windows app, so that's the requirement for Windows app only. You can navigate to this link and you can install Visual Studio from here, uh, but we don't need it for uh, our use case now, so we can skip it. Our Flutter installation has been done. Now we just have to do some setups in our Android Studio. So I'll go to plugins. Here I will type Flutter in order to install my flutter plugin for android studio so tap on install it will automatically install dot plugin as well for android studio so that to facilitate flutter development and android studio and once it gets installed we can restart the ide to uh, for the changes to be reflected so restart and now it will launch with the uh flutter plugin installed so let's wait and see and now you can see we have this flutter icon here you can tap on new flutter project for new project creation down here we have to navigate to flutter uh on the left and here we need to enter sdk path so we will go to the flutter sdk we inside c we have the flutter then source and then the flutter which is the sdk so tap on ok and tap on next so now we need to enter project details i will give test app then i have to uh, save it somewhere so i will save it in e partition and then i will create a directory with the name projects and here i will save all of my uh, projects and we have the description we have it enabled for android ios and other things tap on create and now uh, flutter is creating and android studio is creating a flutter project for us and we have the project ready with us you can see we have these all files ready we will tap on this project now we have the whole uh, visualization of the project this is the main file where we will write our code and now we also need some emulator so we'll go to the device manager from here we create a new virtual device and uh, to create virtual device we have to select the screen size i will select pixel for axel and next here we need to install an 
uh, OS uh, for the device. So I will go with this one and let's start download. After it gets downloaded, uh, we can move ahead to some other steps. So let's wait for it. And now our uh, installation downloading has been done. Tap on the finish button to proceed ahead. I will select this OS or image system image and tap on next. From here we have the portrait and then we have the graphics to set to hardware for better performance. Now tap on finish to create our emulator. We have one created here now. So tap on display button to start the emulator. The emulator will be shown here on the right pane, uh, which is running devices. Down here you can see it's starting the AVD manager that basically manages the emulator for us. And we are getting connected to the emulator here now. You can see we have a virtual device uh, starting up. And uh, we, have all, we have also set up our project that we can run on this device as well. So let's wait for it to get started and uh, we are now ready to run our app. So uh, at the top we have the play button. So let's tap on this play button to run our main dot file and the console appears here. The process has been started and let's wait so that our app is built on the device and you can see we have the build file installed and the app uh, has been uh, built on emulator you can see that so let's wait and you can see we have the counter app ready on the device it's the uh, it has been created by the flutter itself so it's just a template project that has been handled by flutter itself so that's it for today's video see you in the next video guys Thanks for watching. Goodbye.